Hey, wow. Good times, ladies and gentlemen. It's Hot 97. My name is Peter Rosenberg. The infamous Mob Deep is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Havoc and Prodigy together. A new album, April 1st. Going down. Called The Infamous Mob Deep. Um, This is super exciting. I don't know how, like, how much everyone knows how dope this is. That A, you have a full new album. Um, with the the CD has thirteen songs. It's more on iTunes. Um, production from Havoc and uh, Ill Mind and Alchemist. But then you also have a bonus disc two with fourteen songs you've never heard from the original Infamous sessions. Yep. So this is a pretty. Uh, what, what, how much are you charging for this? You making it more expensive or is it a regular? What's the deal? It's, it's regular price. And then there's like a super deluxe version where you, you know. Get a little closer to your mic, Pete. Super deluxe version. It charges a little more. But you you just decided to throw in all these old sessions just to like celebrate. It's the uh, 20th anniversary in April. It's the 20th anniversary of Infamous. You know what I mean? So that's like a celebration album. 20th anniversary of the release, or of you completing it? Of completing it, like you know what I mean? Okay, because yeah. it was actually released in '95. Right, right. Um, so okay, I don't think we've had both of you in the studio since everything was weird and then got normal again. Right. So was this just? Now that we can look back on it, I can see between you that things are c truly cool. Did things just get weird and tense between you guys? And then it was a matter of because you're kind of internally beefing but wanted to make it seem, you know, you don't want to, obviously you guys care so much about the brand and then d didn't want to mess up the brand but had to work out the problems underneath the surface. Just give us a little bit of a recap. We won't revisit all of the drama, but give us a little bit of a recap of how you would describe what went down and how it got resolved. I mean, basically, you know what I mean, in any, like, you know, brothership, if that's a such word, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? With two brothers, you know what I mean? They 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 have their differences or whatever, whatever have you. I always was taught that, like, if you have a fight with, you know, one of your siblings, that's to do it indoors, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I was feeling some kind of way, you know what I mean, about certain things. And, and you know, we always have differences, but it never spilled out into the media. We always were able to, to resolve whatever we was going through. But now in this day and age of, you know, social media and it being so accessible. Everybody on <laughs> your business now. <laughs> right. But you know what I'm saying? That was my fault. You know what I mean? You got so, tempted. You were angry and you got tempted by that phone. Like, yeah, like what the hell was I thinking? You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I I, I did something that I truly regret, you know, and um but to make a long story short, like you said, you know, we resolved our differences, you know, for two reasons. Like, A, we, like, brothers, you know what I'm saying? We've been around each other, you know, more than I could even, you know, remember. And um, two, you know what I'm saying? Definitely business purposes, you know what I'm saying? This is a brand that, you know, some people grew up on. and some, there's some people It's a valuable grew up brand. Bottom line, it's a valuable brand. And it would be selfish of me to try to single-handedly try to, like, destroy that. You know what I'm saying? Now, do you feel, I felt, here's how, I, as a fan and as someone who knows you guys, I sort of saw it as when, among other things, you know, P got out and was very focused um, instantly, of course. Mm -hmm. You might have not had the same level as, uh, of focus when he first got out. At least that's how it appeared to right. me. Right. Do you feel that watching P to a certain degree and his level of focus yeah. has has helped get both of you guys on the same page? P's definitely focused. I definitely can't, you know, deny that. Would I say he was more focused than me? I wouldn't say one or the other is more focused. P just does more things, you know what I mean, to his satisfaction of what he wants to do. Like, he wrote a book, you know what I'm saying? He got two of them. I'm not really, you know what I'm saying, into writing books. You know, my, my thing is this, like, you know, I, I'm a producer and I'm a rapper, you know what I mean? I like to produce. You know, I've been doing records since he's been gone. You know, I did records for Eminem, 50 Cent, a uh, couple of other artists, and, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it may seem on the surface that, like, you know, if you just look at from the outside in, that, oh, you know, Havoc's not focused, and then, you know, all this crazy stuff coming out of my mouth. That's not the case, and Pete could tell you, you know what I'm saying? That, so know, it was just a wild-out moment while any, you guys were beefing. Anything I do anyway is always for Mob Deep. It's always to... Put Marv Deep on a bigger platform. You know what I mean? Anything I do is always for both of us. P, how are, how are you doing? Like, did, was, did you have to even, 
But when you came out, you did seem so diligent about work. You had, are you able to be out as much as you want now? Are you, is, is everything clean? You still have to check in. I'm good now. <laughs> You're good. Free, free now. All free. Roll. So what's it like as just a person who goes from you locked up, to you get out and you have to be structured because you have to be in the house at certain times. You cannot risk trouble in any any way. It's good. It keeps, but then you open up free. Now you have more freedoms. Hey. Uh, is it, it? Does it become more difficult having the freedom or are you so disciplined from where you were that you're just a different person? Nah, I mean, you know, being locked up period just taught me better. I was running around bugging, doing dumb shit and having you to tell me, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? You doing dumb shit. Like, what is wrong with you, yo? And I really didn't learn until I got locked up. And then that shit taught me, like, you know what I mean? We got things to do. We got businesses to run. We got we can't be playing around. Like, we're not kids no more. Like, you know what I mean? And and you guys have an awesome position. Like we said, talking about that brand. Like, I think we talked about this right when you got out. I remember one of the first things I told you when you first came to the morning show. I was like, man, if you're focused, you guys can live comfortably off of this Mob Deep brand, even beyond your outside production half, for the rest of your lives. All right. You could tour, take care of family, just do good. Yeah. Just hanging out with your brother and, and performing music. So you guys now have kind of stripped down. You were telling me you stripped down the amount of people you move with. It's it's like a fully, you guys seem like a very fluid operation at this point. Right, right. You know, we really efficient. We learning every day as we go. You know what I'm saying? We, we you know what I'm saying? We don't know everything. We still learning as we as we grow and, and and get older. You know, we learning and we getting better and proving that making the brand more efficient, like you said, and just you know, um, leaving something behind for our kids, leaving the building our legacy, because we definitely not done yet. We we got so much energy and life and right. creativity in us. It's like, psh. where do you feel this album stands uh, uh, against your prior work? I mean, you, you called it the infamous Mob Deep, which is almost a bold name in that it's like the first time you guys named an album after self-titled, you, self-titled you know, after your the full group name. Right. So, where do you think this album stands? I think it stands right there with the uh, with 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 the best of our albums. Like, and I ain't just trying to say that because we putting it out and we trying to promote it. But I really feel good about this album. Well, yeah, right? definitely, definitely. I feel like it's a uh, it's definitely a monumental album for us. You know, um, the quality of music is there. The the, the quality of lyrics, you know, is up there still with the rest of our albums. Like, you know, we're not slacking off, and um, you know, I, I feel that we feeding. The people what they need right now you know that's we definitely um a group that got our own sound our own style our own lane and hip-hop is like you can count on one finger how many people do what we do and it's like we bringing that to the table that's what we need right now i like these said not even count on one hand count on one finger <laughs> just y'all hey. now one thing that's crazy about uh this new mob deep album is the disc to the infamous sessions um coming up when we start the throwback in just a little bit, we're going to play this Eye for an Eye featuring Ghostface, Raekwon, and Nas. Now, A, the beat is different. B, it has Ghostface's verse. Guys, you were just talking about this. All these records on here. What? Okay, let's start Let's start with Eye for an Eye. Do you remember why you changed this? Why did you take off Ghostface's verse? Like, I mean, I... I can really truly can't remember. Yeah, me and Hav was we heard these songs for the first time maybe two months ago. Who had them? It was just sitting in a vault and we got access to the vault. So we got access to it. We sitting there listening to it, bugging out listening to it. Like this is our first time hearing it since ninety four. So we bugging listening to it, like, yo, this is crazy. It's like perfect on time. Drop it right with the album. But when we listening to the songs and how different it is from the infamous album, we like, why? We couldn't, we were trying to figure out so bad how, who's the, who was making the decisions? Was it Maddie C? Was I was about to say, us? was it, yeah, was it Maddie? All of us together, was Scott Free? We can't even remember, yo. It was probably all of us together, you know what I mean? So, a lot of blunts since 40s and <laughs> right? blurred memories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Eye for an Eye is totally different. Um, <clears throat> Everything is different. Then there's a skit. Uh, then there's get it in blood. How how different is that? Uh, yeah, that's that's uh different. <laughs> All of it so everything's different. very different. And okay, is give me the goods a flip of give up the goods, or is it unrelated? No, that's different. Give me the goods has nothing to do with give up the goods. That's different. Totally unrelated. Uh, so that's just a song from that era that didn't go. <clears throat> no, that's actually is give up the goods, but a different version. It's a different. Version. It is a different version. Yeah, yeah. Hey. It's a different version. Wow. 
different lyrics. They all got different lyrics on it, different beats. It's Yo, crazy. guys, what's the story with the, um, what was it called? Thug Love? What was the Prince record you guys put oh, out? Oh, Young Love. Young Love. Young dun, love. Dun, dun, dun. I was, we couldn't clear it. We couldn't clear the sample. So that Chris, was, Lighty, Chris Lighty was like, come on, guys. Yeah, it's not going to happen. You can't right. clear that. Listen to how you talking on the record. Like, you can't, you talking about fucking bitches. <laughs> and Prince don't clear none of his anyway. No, Prince ended up, did, he did, Prince has cleared some stuff since then, right. but it probably wasn't the kind of content that y'all had Prince, on. Prince freaky ass acting like he wasn't making freaky ass records. Right. We Y'all's just a street record. version. Yeah, come on, Prince. Come on, man. Clear y'all still, have, deep. y'all still have a good version of that around? Um, I don't know. I ain't hear that in a while. There was a white, I remember the white label came out. That was classic. Yeah. Yo, you know you, what's crazy? Every album that we did, we got about 10, 20 songs. So you guys could do a Hell on Earth one? Right. When Hell you on could Earth do a definitely, anniversary come? Definitely. You'll hear another <laughs> this. Definitely. And did you guys find all of this stuff at the same time? Yeah, it's all in storage. It's it was all. just in storage. What, what was it on? Dat? It's there. It's no, there. It was, on, they was on um, Two Inch. Yeah, Two Inch Reels. Oh, it was on we Reels. Had transfer. We had to transfer it, make it digital. It was on Two Inch. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Would you guys consider pressing up these sessions on vinyl? Oh yeah, that's definitely. We this got to go on vinyl. That. Like that's hey. this is such a Coming. like this is why it was important that I got y'all up here honestly um because you know, I want people to really be aware of this. Not only the new music, but you know, people are always more guarded. Rap fans are always more guarded about new music. Right. But the fact that you have this on there as well it's like we punching them in the ribs. Right, like how? Hard, okay, fine. We giving them a hug. Like me. Punch them in the ribs and give them a hug. Right, right. Because I will always check new mob music, always, till the day I die. But then on top of that, if you're someone who doesn't check out that much new stuff, but you go, wait, hold on. There's 14 songs on here. This is an alternate version of the infamous on here. Hey. That's nuts. Hey. And not redone now. And I guess just the nerds like me who, like, you know, consider that one of the best albums of all time. Like, what a blessing to have that. Um, Where do you go after the... After the infamous, what do you guys rank as your next favorite? It got to be Hell on Earth. It got to go in order. Like right. I love because we were having a conversation. Oh, we had Sean C and LV in uh, the other day for yeah, we, Juan Epstein. We with them yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. So we just had them on the Juan Epstein podcast. If you don't subscribe, subscribe to Juan Epstein on iTunes. Um, and they were talking about uh, we talked about Hell on Earth a bunch. And you know, Sean C was talking about his days at Loud and, and working with y'all, et cetera. Yeah. And I was saying, you know, Syph was saying that a, a lot of people. Um, were like um, thought Hell on Earth was a really big departure from the infamous and how you know and Q-Tip sound kind of going away and it being all havoc driven. I always think of Hell on Earth being the perfect progression. Yeah. To me, it feels like the not the same. Right. It that's feels super, different, but progressed. That's the super nerds that was like, oh, this is a departure from <laughs> what they do. It like, sounds. Hey, just, shut the fuck up and listen to the music. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty similar. Like it, it sounds evolved. It's, darker, it's a little. It's darker. <laughs> It sounded darker for sure. I mean, listen, it's hardly like the infamous was friendly and playful. You know what it is? You can't deny. You can't deny. It's true. <laughs> you can't deny music that's coming from our soul and our heart and our life. Like it's not fake. So you, you know like help? It's like this is our life we're giving you in our music. Now you, you. I mean, you put your life inside the paper's lines. Do you like Hell on Earth more than Murder Music, though? I can't say that. I can't. I could just say I like it as much. Because murder music is damn good, and then where do you put HNIC, which is a great album too? And and even though that's your solo album, I'm I'm guessing you guys still think of that collaboratively as well. Sure. Yeah. Even when I was working on that album, the same thing. I'm just mad just sessions text. together. Yeah, there's another Mark opportunity. Beat name out there in between times with no album is out. So it's Mark like beat. so so the Prodigy solo album wasn't really like that much of a solo album. Y'all were still together all the yeah, time working oh, on exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Alchemist. Had, had all, got like sure. three, four beats on that album. Yeah. Sure. Now let's take a minute and talk about uh, someone that you guys are largely responsible for their success and that is the Alchemist, one of your close friends and he looks up to you guys a lot and I think Alchemist has become one of the best producers in the game and I don't know if, if we've discussed this yet but he also plays a really important role of hip hop like Alchemist is one of the people who ties tons of people together. Yeah. I'm sure he's already done that in your, for you guys. Like, sure. uh, of some of these new artists, uh, which of these new artists do y'all have relationships with because of Alchemist? Hmm. For example, on the Albert Einstein album I did, I got a song with Action Bronson, and that's because right. we all in the studio together. Uh, Al Crib. Action is always there. Earl Sweatshirt is always there. Tyler the Creator. Like, everybody's always hanging out at Al Crib. 
So it was like we got relationships with these people. So all these kids who you normally would have never run into, right, all seem to come through Alchemist Studio, right? Yeah, I even met uh, Nipsey Hussle way yeah, back. Nipsey, like there's a lot of people here. Through Al, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, oh, Schoolboy Q, yeah. another one always with right. Al Crib. You know what I mean? Right. Sure. That's dope, man. He's right. how, and have you as a producer. What do you think of Al as a as a producer? I think he's incredible. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I know I came a little bit before him or whatever, whatever. But you know, I look. <laughs> you know, I learned a lot of things from Al too, as well. You know what I mean? And even to this day, you know what I'm saying. I still it's amazing to see for some advice. It's amazing to see what he became, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's really when we crazy. First started fucking with him to see he's Alchemist now. That's crazy. He's had he's had a hell of a run, Alchemist. Shout out to, shout out to Alchemist, one of my favorite guys, ladies and gentlemen. The infamous Mob Deep album Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about a brand new album with 13 songs on it. How many on the iTunes version? It's about uh, three more. Like so 16 songs. Right. And then a 14 song infamous Redux, which is the infamous sessions, all new versions, including the one we're going to play next when we come back, which is the original version of Eye for an Eye. First time you'll ever hear it on the radio featuring Ghostface Killer, Raekwon, and Nas. Shout out to the Locks, man, because this is the first record that Marv Deep and the Locks ever did together. Which is uh, nuts. On this album. Uh, uh, First and time, a, and we got a song on their new album coming out. So. Wow, it's crazy. And, and not to take it off topic, but um, we did a song with MOP too. Oh yeah, the first time. Yeah, the first time MOP with, ever. Did but it's song. not on the album or nothing like that. It's but I wanted project. to. It's happened. Though. I wanted to acknowledge that record too. Wow, that's crazy. Time. Considering y'all were both on G Unit at the same time. Yeah. Word. I have a shirt. I don't. You guys remember those shirts? Hey, I, have hey. a, I have a shirt that's MOP on one side, Mob Deep on the other. Right, Classic. Right. Game was tight. Game was tight over the shout out to the game, man. He was tight over them shirts. Man. Why? Because it said game over on it. Oh, 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 right, right. Shout right. out to the game, though. It's all good. Yo, um, that's crazy that y'all that y'all made that happen, man. I'm I'm really pleased to hear that. Um, yo, they're also going on the road, so you can catch Mob Deep um in a town near you, heading out uh and tonight like today. So, anyways, guys, congratulations. Super excited about this. Yeah, yeah. Mob deep. Mob deep.